guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today's a quick one. Today I just want to uh, give you some thoughts, go over a couple things that I have picked up over the last week or so. Um, actually, it's been a couple weeks. I have just gotten a few products from Sephora. I got one from Nordstrom. I just wanted to share with you and been trying them out and for the most part, I've been liking what I've been using, but I just wanted to give you an update on them. So I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, the first thing that I have for you today is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is a really beautiful bronzer. Uh, I got it in the shade medium. Packaging alone is so art deco and gorgeous. There it is. It's a lot of bronzer, um, but it blends beautifully. All of her powders are extremely finely milled. Um, I find that with her, uh, her pressed face powder as well. It's what I like to use to set my makeup because it does not make me look dry and it's just really, really nice and smooth. And I find that the same is true of her bronzer, which is something she just brought out. This is fairly new to the market. So, um, as I said, I got this in the shade medium. It's a nice fit for my skin. She has a lighter shade, but it is so light. It looked to me almost like a, a face powder. So I decided to go with the medium and I'm glad I did. So, but anyway, this is uh, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. Really beautiful. Um, I just like it a lot. It's worked well for me. Next up, I uh, picked up a cult product that I have myself not tried. It's been on the market for quite a few years, but I decided to pick it up on the recommendation of one of my friends. Um, and it is the MAC Painterly Pot. See this? It is a cream eyeshadow base and it's just very um, crease proof. It's a great way of just doing like a nice simple eye when you don't want to do a lot with your eyes as far as makeup it'll just even out the look of your eyes um i used it today i was just kind of screwing around before i went to the gym i was like you know what i haven't tried it yet i'm gonna try it out so i tried it put a little bit of um, laura mercier's translucent uh, glow powder on top of it and it was just very pretty very simple um, i am wearing it today underneath this eye look just as an eyeshadow base just to test it out in that way and it seems to be holding up very well my shadow color has remained true um, nothing's creased so I'm pretty happy with it so far I do like having an eyeshadow base that gives me a little bit of color um, you know I love the Milani which is about a third of the price of this one but that one is zero color so this one's just a nice to have if you want to just add a little bit of color and speaking of eyeshadow what I'm wearing today is the uh, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Rose Palette. That's this. Really pretty packaging. And pretty inside, too, if I can find the opening. <clears throat> so, you get six shadows, four mattes, and two shimmers. So these are, the, these are two mattes here, two shimmers, and then two mattes here. So today on my eyes, I have this shade all over. This one a little bit more in the lid. It's a little bit darker, not much, but just enough. I put this into the crease, this boho shade, and then I put this shade um, out on like kind of like the outer corner, and then I blended it underneath my eye just to give me a, a more um, medium toned kind of diffuse look underneath. It wasn't as harsh as a dark line because I did use black eyeliner on top. Um, but these are really beautiful, natural, everyday shades. I think this is a great palette. If you're looking for a palette for just every day, this is a good one. It's $29. You get six shades for $29 and they're, they're fairly sizable shades. The pans are nice sized. Um, I like that you can mix and max, match all the colors or you can just do, you know, a complete eye look with these three or a complete eye look with these three. Or just use them however you want so i do enjoy this one i think this one's a really really nice palette it's very pretty so i highly recommend that as well this is one that's been a been a favorite i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of this something else i picked up the d bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops they're by drunk elephant this is a nice 
product for this time of year when um, you know you're just gonna kind of getting into your tan a little bit and spending a little time outside maybe you're doing some self tanning which I hope you're doing because it's better for your skin um, and what this will do is you can put a few drops of this into your foundation or half a drop or you know however much you need and it's going to customize the color for you it's not going to change the texture of your foundation it's not going to change the finish of your foundation or how much coverage you're going to get from that it's just going to give you a little bit more oomph as far as color is concerned and it's a really nice way of not having to buy three different shades of foundation for the summer you can actually just use this in what you used in the winter um, and convert that into your summer foundation. So I think this is a winner. There's a lot of pro you, little, little, little bit goes a long way. So you, there's enough product in here. I think this will last you a good while, but, um, I, this one came highly recommended. I was reading some reviews at Sephora and decided I wanted to try it and I did, and I'm happy I did because I really like this. It also has peptides in it. So it's good. Got some good, nice skincare ingredients in it as well. That I do not have anything on my lips, and that was purposeful. Reason being is because I wanted to try some of the new lip shades that I got out on camera. I haven't even opened them yet. So, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil. Let's see her packaging right here. And then this is the lip gel. It comes with a sharpener. Um, I got it in the shade Bear Rose. Bear Rose. Now this came recommended um, by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Stephanie Marie, and I'll link her channel down below. She, I've known her for many, many years. We, um, we've just, we've been friends on some makeup message boards that we both used to belong to, and. She has a YouTube channel that I think is really great, and I think that you would like her a lot. She's very down to earth, very real, um, and she gives good recommendations, good solid recommendations, and she's the cutest little dog that's always in the background of her videos. So, highly recommend you catch Stephanie Marie's videos. But anyway, so this is the Bear Rose lip pencil. I haven't tried it yet. Then this is a sampler I got of the Mini Lust. Gloss Lip Trio from Pat McGrath. And it contains three mini lip glosses. Um, let's see what shades I've got here. Love Potion, Sunset Rose, and Flesh Six. Interesting. Um, well, we're gonna try them all. So, it's in a little pouch. I well, I just wanted to try, I thought it was just a good way of trying out some some new colors. This whole thing was $25 for three of these. I thought that was a good price. You can... Let me get some scissors. Okay. I don't know what's up with these sequins, but I'm just imagining them being all over the place. When you live in a house with kids, that's how you have to think. out. God help me. Okay, so let's just swatch these and then we'll try them on in the lips. This one is the Love Potion. Ooh, Love Potion. Okay. It's very sheer. You know how I am about my smells. It smells like very vanilla-y. Okay, so this is Love Potion. see that kind of a pinky milky sheer I don't know that I see any sparkle in it or shimmer I just see kind of like a, it looks almost like a little iridescence in it I don't know we'll try that one out I'll probably try that one last because I want to try that out over the uh, this is the kind of gloss that I want to try out over um, an entire filled in lip this one is Sunset Rose. See that there? Okay, 
this is my kind of color right here. I like this one a lot. Kind of a warm pink. I see some gold shimmer in there. Basically, if you want me to buy your product, just put, tell me it has gold shimmer in it and then I will hand you all my money. It's just the way I, that's the way I roll. I just love any, anything with gold shimmer in it. So that one's gorgeous. I can't wait to try that one on. And then this one is the Flesh 6. A little deeper. Kind of a ready plum, but I see a little bit of orange in there. So it definitely got some warmth to it. So there they all are, all three of them. That one. Love Potion, Sunset Rose, and Flush Six. So I'm gonna start with the liner, put that on. I guess I should swatch that too. Probably be helpful, right? Standard pink, mid tone, some beige in there. pretty. It's a nice liner. Let's try this flesh six on. See what I think. I don't know you guys. It's kind of orangey to me. Well, this is really a shade I would go for a lot. What do you think? This might be good for fall. Thinking kind of early fall, maybe. Hmm. It probably won't be one I'll be reaching for a ton, but it's pretty. I mean, it's not horrible looking. Now we're gonna try that Sunset Rose. If you're wondering what's on my nails, didn't get my nails done, I did my own nails. These are the static nails, the, um, the press on ones. You've probably seen them all over Instagram and Facebook. Took me 10 minutes to do these nails. I will be reviewing them soon, but I wanted to wear them just just to see how they wear and how long they last so I can give you a very full review okay sunset rose Okay, this color I would wear like every day. I think this is gorgeous. I really like this color. Yep, that one's a winner. I almost don't want to take, I almost don't want to take it off. Now I'm now I am going to fill in an entire lip. Okay. 
Okay. Love Potion. Let's see what we got. This is going to be a nice one to wear over something else. Or if you just want something really kind of subtle and easy to do that day, just throw it on. It's very light. It's pretty. I do like it. I think it goes well with this eye look even too. Okay. Well, two out of the three I like, and I do love the liner too, so can't win them all folks. Well, anyway, um, that's it. Those are the products that I've been trying out over the last couple weeks. Um, hopefully maybe you'll find something that you've either tried or you'd like to try and you'll leave some, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think once you've tried it. Um, I really appreciate you being here today and joining me. I would ask that if you want to see further content from me that you please subscribe and, um, I will look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, be well.